It's gonna be some some weird time warp. Like nothing's changed, but everything's changed. I'm nervous too, but I'm excited. Yeah. We're Keith and Deb, and we've been traveling around Europe. Most recently, we were in Paris and have made our way to the Charlago Airport. Subscribe to follow along. It's 6 a.m. and we have some flights to catch today. Let's go. First, we have breakfast. Jeez, this Marriott residence includes breakfast. It's amazing. It's so elaborate. There's like all the breads, all the normal breakfast things, and like even smoked salmon and some Nutella and croissants and donuts. Coffee. It's very nice. I do wish I was hungrier at 6 a.m. though. I'm like literally making myself eat because it looks incredible and it's free, but my stomach's a little flip floppy this morning. So step one is going to find the tram that will take us to our terminal. Yesterday, if you watched our last video, we got on the wrong term. The Park PX is directly opposite, and that's where we are now. Classic, we're not there yet, eh? <laughs> so let's tram. not do that again. So we can't do that again. <laughs> yeah, today's actually pretty packed, so we got to take this train to get to the terminal, so get to the security, hopefully go to the lounge, get some snacks, to go to another airport, to wait around for a couple hours, right? Hopefully go to another lounge. Yep. Hopefully go to another lounge, and then take our big flight to, to our, our final destination, destination. here. That was smooth, but will everything be smooth? <laughs> this airport is so big, there's three terminals. Terminal two has like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I think, gates or areas, not gates, areas. So within the 2B terminal, we're at gate D52. Jesus. Massive, I think. And I think we're going to a small section because our first flight is still within Europe. This is where we go through. Passport's out. It's time to go through security, so we'll see on the other side. Well, that was that was a good one. Security, yeah. It was no no long line, which was nice. Although this is the but, first time we had to put our liquids in a plastic bag. So we were like, eh, no. No, we were really <laughs> smiley, and they were smiley back. They were actually all very very kind. Now this area of the airport, I think, is like the European flights, which means there actually might not be a lounge here. Mm, uh oh, Dev, don't but jinx us. But the good thing is, we already ate, and it was free still. So, lounge isn't super necessary, right? Right. But we're still gonna try to find one. We got some duty-free stuff. Gate D52, our gate is just down there. There's only one lounge here. So, we're gonna go see if we can get in. Odds are we can, mm -hmm. I think. That was a rat in the airport. Classic France. <laughs> Classic Paris. Alors on est là, tiens, la Amex Platinum. Terminal 2B doesn't have a lounge you can go into. It's a good thing we have breakfast. Yeah, only one lounge here, which is kind of funny. But there's like so many parts of this terminal within the terminal, right? So, okay, we have breakfast. That was a really good breakfast. Not a bad spot to post up for not getting into a lounge. No big deal. This is actually quite beautiful. This is like lounge pool. And we got free breakfast this morning anyway, so this is perfect. Time to do some computer work while we wait. The fatigue is getting to me. It's early in the morning and it's just hitting me now. I feel like dehydrated. Devin's getting anxious for flying. Hey? Not about flying, I don't know why. I just started getting more anxious about actually getting on the flight. Once we're like past the gate right here, I'm good. You just get anxious though. After traveling for eight months, you still get the little butterflies, eh? Mm -hmm. And I'm still exhausted in the morning. <laughs> Turns out I was nervous for a reason. We're at the wrong gate. It's actually not that big a deal. Luckily, I found out half an hour before boarding, so. It changed though. We got some more walking to do. Let's do it. Just like that, we made it to the new gate. It's busier, which means there's obviously people on this flight, but it didn't take long. We're in line. It happened really fast. We're getting on our first flight. Oh, this is bittersweet, and you'll understand why in a little bit. Oh, geez. Man, our bags are so well. <laughs> got my cushion, my buff, maybe I'll get a little bit of a nap. A few days ago we got an email 
still saying we no longer need to wear masks on flights to Germany, so no masks on this flight. It's a transfer though, right? Mm -hmm. So the next one might, we're not sure yet. Thank you very much for choosing to fly with Lufthansa and Star Lines today. We look forward to welcoming you on board again and wish you now a pleasant day in Frankfurt. Uh, well, that was a good flight. I closed my eyes and then I opened them again and we were in Frankfurt. Also, two things. Well, that was the first thing. <laughs> the second thing, um, I've never seen a plane so close to another in the sky. It was kind of neat. Not scary, but kind of neat. So we found what gate we have to go to. We're in section A right now of the airport and we and have to get to section huge. B. It's all of Tanzania. So uh, we have to get to another terminal. I think. Let's go find it. Ooh. We're heading to B. Let's see how long this walk will take. <laughs> I'm not going to be exercising much today, so I might as well take the stairs. That long stretch took us underneath the like runway yeah. to like another terminal on the other side, but underground. So now we gotta go through customs and then I think we're almost there. We made it through customs actually very easily. They just stamped us. Woo! Easiest one yet. And now we're trying to find the lounge. It's close to the rice market. I think. Whatever that is. <laughs> well, taking five weeks off planes may have, uh, we're a bit rusty. Essentially, we had two opportunities for lounges today, and we didn't get any. We missed them. So, apparently for, apparently, for this terminal, the lounges before customs, which is what we just did. Yeah, which we didn't realize, we, so it was land side, not air side, which we didn't realize. But we also, we do only have two hours before our next flight, so even, until like, maybe boarding. we, till boarding, sorry. So maybe we would have, like, ran in and grabbed something if we knew. Yeah. The, but the funniest part is that, well, you saw breakfast this morning. It was the, the most... Amazing. elaborate like uh, continental breakfast we've ever had and, and of course we're like ah, we have two lounges we'll likely have tons of food so we didn't fill up our containers and so now we're starving and it's serious because Keith and Deborah are getting hangry it's not oh. we have we <laughs> both have croissants and apples so we'll be fine until our flight because this flight actually will have food because it's a long flight I have my gluten-free ones from yesterday so that's this exciting. is the flattest croissant I've ever seen in my life okay but literally it's only two hours and you had three breakfasts this morning. Three plates, oh. one breakfast. Gluten free. Pastries every day, all day. That's my new life. Okay. We're feeling a bit better now that we have some croissants. Yes, a small snack pastries. and apple. We are now here in Frankfurt. As we mentioned, there's been lo no lounge, but that's a okay because that's this fine. is a very exciting flight we have next for two reasons. It's bitter and sweet. And why is that, Keith? After eight months of travel, we're heading back to Canada, back home. Not, it's not the end, so don't be like, oh my gosh, it's the ah! end. It's not at all the end, but we are going home to surprise our families. We are, we haven't told anybody, except for four secret people that yes. we've actually saw in Crete. Yes, exactly. And so we saw a really good deal, honestly, for flights home, and we just were both feeling like we love this and we want to keep doing this, but We've missed our community and our people and our families. So it'll be the holiday season too. Yeah, so we're gonna do some surprises. So we're very excited to have that to look forward to. And then planning our next leg as well. Mm -hmm. So we actually have some things coming up, and then some other things coming up totally. in 2023. Mm -hmm. So it's not at all the end. It's just a very exciting long flight, our longest flight in a while. We've eight been hours. Eight hour flight. So we do have to walk to our gate now. So we'll see you right. at the gate. Morning time. We are through, passport, ticket scanned, economy class, we're going this way. We made with the back of the plate, but we got blankets and pillows too. I'm already watching the rise of Guru. Devin's working on another video. We got two meals and complimentary drinks. Also, we booked this flight in the summertime, and as I mentioned, it was such a good deal. This and our previous flight was $300 for both of us Canadian. So One way from Paris to Montreal. It's a really good deal. 
it's obviously like a double the price to go from Montreal to Paris, but they want the Parisians to come. Always be looking at flights because if you can be flexible, there are some really good deals out there. Yeah. So our food's here, and I remember when we filled this out, I did say I was gluten free, but because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But on here, I got my own whole meal. That's gluten free. But gluten free bread, butter, salad, the dressing, this like dessert. I'm not sure what it is. And according to the label, this is really hot. Chicken cream um, polenta, whatever that is. So I'm just very excited to eat. But I'll wait for Keith because Keith eats what everybody else eats and it's not here yet. I think I got the gluten equivalent of Devin's meal. I have a bun, a salad with the dressing, and a full on cake versus her. She's got a yogurt, which is really cool though. And a pre snack. I feel like we can share this though, Debbie. A little pre snack. And uh, it's really hot, so I'm not gonna open it. But it looks like there's ricotta and other things. It's in German. Pasta. So we're gonna enjoy our meal. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm really hungry, so this is nice. Cheese, hummus, cucumber, carrots. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous to get home. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. Kind of right? nervous. I don't think it's fully sunk in. No. We're flying over Quebec right now. Yeah. What is I mean, this? We're, we're gonna land really soon. It's been eight months. Like, it's so weird because it I feels know. like it's been a lifetime. It's gonna also feel feels like, like it's been like a week. It's gonna feel like it hasn't happened, but it has. It's gonna be some some weird time warp. Like nothing's changed, but everything's changed. I'm nervous too, but I'm excited. Yeah. Bittersweet. surprise our family. Sometimes they put their benches down and you have no space. You're like this watching a movie. Wake up because we're going to be home. 